lost his job. Without work, he could not pay his bill and take care of his family. Then he got very sick. The doctor told him he needed an operation for a terrible disease. He was very scared and needed help. He asked his close friends and family for help, but no one came forward. They talked badly about him behind his back instead of helping him. Feeling alone, he posted about his problem on Facebook, but nobody commented. Out of desperation, he sent 250 messages to people he knew, asking to borrow just $1,000 for his operation. Out of all those messages, only 10 people replied. Six said they couldn't help, and four promised to help, but in the end, only one person gave him a little money. The others made excuses and didn't even answer his calls anymore. With the little money he had, he went to the nearest hospital, but they turned him away because he didn't have enough money for the operation. On his way home, he was so weak that he collapsed and passed away. His family ran to the scene and confirmed that he was dead, took him to the mortuary. Hours passed and the mortuary attendant, an elderly man named Rico, was going about his nightly duties. He was startled when he heard a faint groan coming from one of the bodies. Investigating, he found Peter, weak but unmistakably alive. Rico, skilled in first aid, immediately offered help, bringing the man back from the brink of death. As Peter regained consciousness, he realized where he was and what had happened. He looked at Rico with a peculiar request. Please keep this a secret. He whispered, pretend I am still dead. I want to see how people truly react to my passing. Rico, though perplexed by this request, agreed. He felt a strange sense of duty to honor the man's wish. This after, rumors spread that he had died. Suddenly, over 5,000 people wrote on his Facebook wall. They said they knew him and talked about how kind he was. His faithful friends formed a committee and raised over 10,000 US dollars for food at his funeral. His former colleagues at where he had worked before contributed $6,000 for his coffin, tents, and chairs. They bought a coffin for $1,750, but a man sold it to them for just $1,000, saying he wanted to help. His families, who he hadn't met in a long, long time, gathered together. They talked and decided to contribute over six thousand dollars for the funeral everyone wanted to help showing the killed they even printed t-shirt worth three thousand dollars but imagine their surprise when on the day of funeral the man they thought was dead showed up hmm as peter walked in People ran around in shock, thinking they saw a ghost. Peter felt heartbroken. He saw how his family and friends, who left him alone when he needed them most, were now spending so much on his funeral. The crowd was surprised seeing Peter back alive again. But he was dead. We confirmed it. How did he come back to life? Are you sure he's not a ghost? 
some of the family members asked in a tone of surprise. The crowd quieted down as they realized the man they were mourning was actually alive. There was a mix of emotions, surprise, guilt, and relief. The man stood there, looking at everyone. He didn't know whether to be angry or sad. Why? He finally asked, his voice barely above a whisper. Why now? Seriously? Why all this? When I was supposedly gone? But when I was here, struggling and in pain, I begged everyone for just a thousand dollars for my operation. Nobody actually responded except just one person. His family and friends had no answers. Their eyes were downcast, filled with shame. It was a moment of truth for everyone. They had all assumed someone else out there would help. Or perhaps they thought their small contribution wouldn't make a difference. But now, faced with the man they had ignored, they realized their mistake. People started to apologize. They admitted that they should have helped him when he needed it most. Peter listened, feeling a mixture of forgiveness and sorrow. He didn't want anger to ruin this moment of understanding. Then, something beautiful happened. The community decided to use the money they had collected for the funeral to pay for his operation. They also set up a fund to help others in the community who might face similar trouble in the future. Peter's health eventually improved after the operation. He found a new sense of hope, not just because of the medical help, but because of the renewed connection with his community. People visited him offering support and company, his friends and family learned a valuable lesson about not taking each other for granted and the importance of helping in terms of need. In the end, Peter's ordeal became a lesson for the whole community. They learned that compassion and support during tough times are more valuable than grand gesture after it's too late. Peter's story became a reminder for everyone and those of you listening now to look out for one another and to extend a helping hand when it's needed most. Don't forget to hit the subscribe button and actually look out for other videos on this channel. Thanks for watching.